In this lesson, what we're going to look at is links and images and how they work together. Before we get started, I want to point out here the basic syntax for HTML. We'll always have an element name. So, for example, in this case, it would be body or head or HTML. An attribute is optional. A lot of times, an attribute will be some sort of presentational feature. And if you have an attribute, it's followed with a variable and then a value. So for example, a variable might be color. And the value would be red. And then we'll have our content. And then you'll have the closing tag of the element. So here's the example down here. P is the element, style is the attribute, color is the variable, and red is the value. You have your content and your closing tag. So I've already set up the basic structure for a website. And I'm going to go into my body section. Oops and create a, a link. The element for a link is A, but you'll probably never see it like that. It's always followed by href. And if you th want to think of that as um, reference, you can. So where is that pointing to? href is technically an attribute. So href you could send it to another page such as YouTube and that would be all that you need to do except put in your, your content of course so YouTube link and that's what would be visible that's what your readers will see YouTube link. Let's look at a different way to use this. href equals and let's say you want to connect this to a page that's already in your website. Let's say you have a contact page and you save that file is contact.html That's how you would save that. You just put the file name and extension in there. So this works with images too. And you have to set, tell it where to look. So we're going to tell it to look in the images folder. And if I have an image called cats.html, that's where you'll send it. So there's a couple different ways that you can use this. Let's look at graphics and how those work. The element for a graphic is IMG. A graphic is a single-sided tag, so we won't have a, uh, a closing tag like we do in the link. We're just going to have IMG and then source. So SRC, and we have to tell it where to find it, which is going to be inside of the images folder again, cats.html. Also in here, we'll always want to put in an alternate description, just in case, just in case it does not pull up in the browser for whatever reason if there's a broken link somewhere if uh, if the file gets deleted or, or whatever the case may be we want it to at least display the description and that's about it for for images 
and for oh you know what before before I close let's cover the width you can set the width and height of an image to a very specific size now if you set them both it could skew your image so unless you have to generally I only set one or the other so I might set the width as a hundred pixels and then the rest of it will fall in line and it will stay proportional okay and that's it for links and images